one two three let's go yo guys what's going on welcome to the newest latest update july 2023 for free movies tv shows live tv you name it we can get it here on the fire stick all for free all legal youtube stop cutting me off it's all legal man it's all legal okay guys do this couple quick little steps first things first make sure your fire tv stick is up to date go over to the little cog wheel come on down go to my fire tv in the about make sure check for updates boom check for updates latest update is up to date i have version 74 or sorry 7646 all right we're up to date we can go back home in the little search icon type in downloader while we're typing it in you probably get to the O, maybe the w and it's already pre-populated here come on down downloader this gives us access to my website led by the unknown.com for quick and easy downloads for applications that will may not be available on the Amazon Fire Stick. Most of these applications are for sure available on Google Play Store, but we can't put the Google Play Store on the Fire Stick. So what we do, get Downloader. Click on it, download, I already own it, so it puts it in the queue, downloads it here fairly quickly, installs it, and away we go. Now, prior to opening this, Let's go all the way to the little three squares plus sign, my apps and games button, and go down to the downloader, hit the little hamburger button, and we can move to the front. So when we're on the home screen, downloader is already always there up front and center for us to go down, just like an app store, makes it super easy. We can click on it, boom, go to the website, download whatever we want, right? Guys, remember, Please read between the lines. Before we do any of this, please try to be safe. Try to keep your ability to stay open, your ability to get content from more or less where you want to. Right now, I'm in Canada. Canada right now, and Google and Facebook and a bunch of other social media sites uh, a new law has gone through bill 112 or something or 211 I don't know what the bill number is shoot me for not knowing but it is limiting the ability for Google or anyone else to share news with can Canadians um, this will alleviate your, your problem this will be able to let us see news anywhere we want to see it so get yourself a trusty VPN. I got two to pick from. IP Vanish, I already have it up here. Number two, or number one. Number two would be IP Vanish. Number one would be Nord VPN. So you can just type in here Nord N O R D. I had someone ask, how do I install this thing? It's super easy, guys. It is on the Fire Stick. It is available. We can click on it. Use the link below to get a discount like 65% off of NordVPN today or use the QR code right here flash it up on your TV screen and uh, download it NordVPN just like downloader we need to download it so it says download you own it perfect puts it in the queue now we can download it guys Please hit the subscribe button and like this video. It helps out for the algorithm with YouTube and being able to show this content to more people out there who need, who want free movies and TV shows, who may not want to purchase Netflix and Disney or are sick and tired of Netflix and Disney costing and the prices going up. This is not saying that. Netflix and Disney are bad 
they're great ops they're great great ops you get awesome videos awesome movies awesome TV shows but this is for people who maybe don't want to go down that route and want to download legal apps that are available outside of the fire stick so apparently this is taking a little longer to install which is kind of weird but it is installing it is installing I think I broke my fire stick there we go looks like it's installed okay now we're going back to the home screen push the home button now let's do the same thing we did with downloader click on the four squares your apps and games menu go down to Nord click the hamburger button move it to the front because this is another application we will be wanting to use for a long long time so guys use the link below log in create your account outside of the fire stick don't don't log in here to create it um, use your phone use your computer just use the link below it helps out keeps the lights on please definitely keeps the lights on so when you click on Nord it's going to ask you a few things a few different ways to log in either password login or there might be hey guys here's a quick little use this tool to get in now it says sign up you can I would suggest again signing up on your phone or on a lot on your computer not through here so we can log in Nord account so as you can tell you can hit the QR code or you can do a PC so take your phone you can take the picture of it and it'll automatically log you in if you have it already on your phone or we can log in manually Okay, see, password, email password, you log in. Or you can use the QR code, and away you go. So as you can tell, it says I'm not connected. I can connect now, I can figure out where I want to go. So today, I'm going to go from Canadian to be in the US. So Nord, geolocation, connection request. Nord wants to use, set up a VPN connection that allows you to monitor, allows it to monitor traffic. Only accept if you trust the source. We do accept. Yes, we do trust the source. Boom. Connecting to the United States. Now, I I connected just the quick one, right? We can connect, come down, connect wherever you want. Anywhere you want. You can even say, I want to go to maybe uh, Buffalo or something. Makes it easy. Okay, guys. Once we're logged in, we're going to use the downloader app to hit up my web page now downloader needs to access these things in order to the allow it to download applications onto your device so say allow we say okay now once we're here go up into the little search area and type in this little quick link five four six eight three five once you've done that, we can hit go, and this is a quick link to the ledbytheunknown.com. Now there's a quick little, well, slow, long, whatever, five second redirect. Once this is done, guys, hit the little hamburger button on your remote again. And please, full, sorry, add current page to your favorites. So we can add it. Add current pages of favorites and we push save boom now we can go over to the favorites and there we go we're good to go okay okay guys now that we're here we're going to go to our download page now, quickest way to get to it probably if it's not right there as you can see with the little icon or the little thing there we can just come here we can come down to downloads just click on downloads and now we're in the downloads page 
can come on down and guys updates all the best apps for the month of July this is constantly updated this gives us the ideas for the best apps so remember up and down check it out check all the applications now please like I said get yourself a VPN NordVPN get out your phone this is on your TV now since it's on your fire stick get out your phone take a shot of the QR code and that'll help you out severely now guys as you can tell we got a couple apps right here live apps streaming apps yes Zumo and Pluto are probably available through the Amazon Fire Stick the middle one probably definitely isn't but these apps are also available through the Google Play Store which like I said we can't put the Google Play Store on our Fire Stick so we can just get them right here and remember just go up and down and find other apps that you may like to try so in order to do that click on Zumo takes you to the Zumo download page and we have our Amazon Fire Stick and this will also work on any Android device so if you have a phone an Android TV other than an Amazon stick it'll work so click on Amazon quick little redirect or download automatically to your device super quick super easy now guys you're all going to be like you haven't jailbroken my fire stick yet it does it for us like why I don't even know why I say jailbreak your fire stick like what's the point it does it for us when you download an app and it's like downloaders not allowed to do it yet but here just click the settings button and I'll show you how to do it install unknown apps is the jailbreak feature turn it on push back push back it sends us right back to downloader and away we go all right so now we can download and install the latest Zumo Play application. Now when you down on the bottom, you might not be able to see it behind my head, but it's definitely on your screen. Hit install. Once you've hit install, it'll install the application. Once the application is installed, we do not want to open it yet, even though it asks you to. We want to back up. Not back up yet. Wait. We want to now back up there we go and delete the apk file because we no longer need the install file boom delete now guys remember we're in here we can go back we can do it with pluto we can go back we can do it with the other applications we can go up and down and check out all the other applications that are available on your fire stick that may not be in the fire apple or amazon store Click home. Now where to go? Back to the My Apps and Games icon button. And we got Zumo. And again, push the hamburger button, move it to the front, go back home. We now have Nord on. And where did sorry. Now we can click on Zumo, and there you go, guys. Live TV, movies, TV shows, everything you ever wanted on your Fire Stick. Check it out. Check out all the other applications. Some may need the VPN. Some may not. If you want to geolocate yourself properly, I would definitely use the VPN. All right. Cool. Peace. Take it easy. If you enjoyed what you liked, give me a like if you really enjoyed it subscribe if you really really enjoyed it put a comment below and if you hated it put a comment and tell me what I need to do better thanks peace out again
this is the part of the show that doesn't exist so please don't tell anybody let them find out for themselves because I think 90% uh, plus of my videos have this in the end so go back and check them out if you didn't know that I advise that there is a bill Canada bill 211 I want to say no that's not it Google Canada bill for news Bill C-18, the government, this is straight from Google, June 29, 2023, an update on Canada's Bill C-18 and our search and news products. C-18 has become law and remains unworkable. This is Google. The government has not given us reason to believe that the regulatory process will be available to resolve structural issues with the legislation. As a result, we have informed the government that we have made the difficult decision that when the law takes effect, we will be removing links to Canadian news from our search. News and Discover products will no longer be available to operate Google News Showcase in Canada. Google's doing this. Facebook's doing this. A bunch of social media platforms are doing this. I wonder what Twitter's going to do. But So, for what it sounds like, Does that include YouTube? Like if you want to share news or new things or what I'm doing, does that mean Google's going to limit the ability for Canadians to see it? Or everybody, since it's a Canadian thing, like I don't get it, period. I don't understand. Apparently, our, our wonderful leader in charge here in Canada believes that Canadians should get money for their work sure they do I don't I don't know how much more money you could give them for news and journalism on top of what they already get like I don't understand People like me do this for free. Like, okay, wow, someone signs up for your BPN. I got a couple dollars. Thank you for those who do it. It helps keep the flipping lights on, but it's not a full time job here. Like, I'm not Mr. B or Unspeakable or any of those other crazy YouTubers that my kids watch making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. Like, I don't. I don't know where I'm going with this, but it's a little concerning as to whether or not when this legislation is actually like completed, finalized, added, what's going to happen with Canadian content? Yeah, A, A, like. <laughs> A, I, I don't know. So maybe I'll see you. Maybe I won't. But it's always a good ride. Take care. Take care, everyone. We'll talk soon. Peace.